What's up guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you, yes you, how to do an ollie on a fingerboard. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so let's get right to it. So for this trick, you're going to be needing a fingerboard. It doesn't have to be a tech deck like this brand. Well, it can be any fingerboard. You could get this at like Zoomies. That's the store nearby me in the mall. You could, if you're living in like San Leandro, maybe, uh, you could get this at like Orbit. I don't know. I haven't been there, so they might be selling fingerboards. I don't know. Okay, so once you get your fingerboard, you need to have finger positioning. Uh, most of the time, I use this kind of finger positioning, three fingers. Most people do this, like your your index finger uh, on on this side of the nails and your other finger on this side. Or they do this. Um, I personally don't like this because you have to spread out your fingers too much. And it doesn't really help me. I can't really get the jump with it. So I do this because like I could put like more pressure like this with both of my fingers. Okay, so once you get your finger positioning down, whichever one you want, I recommend you this one because this is the one that I use. Okay, so I'll be teaching you like this. Okay, so after you get this down, you need to know the motion of it. So the first motion that you need to know is one, two. When I do this, I'm basically just like pushing my hand up. Like, I just want to like push it up so that you want to do this as quick as you can so that once you push it up, it'll get leveled. So push up, it will be leveled out, and then you have to land, okay? So you might not see it because it, it's a very fast motion, okay? Like, you might not see it like right now, like I just did it. That was a fail, but you get the point, okay? So once you do that, I know you might say, I really don't get the point. Well, once you practice that motion, you're... You might not get all of your reels off the ground. Well, once you like get the motion, you're ready to uh, move on. So usually, to help me visualize to jump over something, usually Ollie is meant to do like to jump over something or to do tricks like kickflip and stuff, which I'm not really into right now. So I need to practice my Ollie. So I'm teaching you guys. Okay, so. Usually I just take a small eraser like this, put it there, and I just try to jump over it. Okay, so you just want to jump over it. Okay, I'm going to go slow for you guys. This one, so you hit the bottom, slide up, and I just do that. Do the motion a little faster. Ah, that was bad. Okay, so do the motion. And I just try to glide over it. Like, just jump, try to jump over it once you do that, okay? Like that kind of. Uh, that didn't work. Well, try to like push your hand as hard as you can to get it off the ground. And common mistakes are that when I started, I can't get these back wheels off the ground and that that's completely fine when you just start because eventually you're gonna get it off the ground uh, you could overcome this mistake by like using more power I use these two fingers my ring finger and my middle finger that's why I use this grip so I get more power from doing it so once you get more power that gives you more like a lift to like go up and easily level out because with one finger it doesn't really work for me well with two fingers i could do it easily so once once you got this down okay you could move on to like higher things um usually if i want to see how far i could do it uh i would take like post-it notes maybe i don't know post-it notes so maybe you want to try post-it notes if you want to see how high you could go, if you want to see how high you could go, I usually just like use cards, like, and then I could just 
keep on building up like that. Well, or you could use it for length like this and length and height like this. Usually I just use cards for height like this so I could just like easily learn how to do it and gradually build up. So once you've done some, you add on and you keep on adding on and adding on and adding on and adding on out of the way now. So once you got all that down, you might want to go on to other tricks. This is going to be difficult. No doubt about it. Okay, it is going to be difficult. Well, I've been only doing this for two days. Two days. And I got it. I'm pretty sure you could get it in less than one day. I'm pretty sure that you're more determined than me. So don't worry, you're going to get it in like less than 30 minutes. You got this person. And that's it for today. Keep on practicing your ollies and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Star Wars for life. Bye. See you in my next video.